Okay, hello and welcome to day 13 of the Zen Challenge. So my name is Louise and I live in Edinburgh, in Scotland. Um, so day 13, some people say 13 is an unlucky number, um, but in Italy it's a very lucky number. So I like to take that point of view. So lucky 13. Um, right, the theme of today's yoga practice is creativity and expression. So now that we're stuck indoors, um, it's a really good time to get stuck into some good books and films. Um, maybe if you're uh, quite creative, you're doing lots of drawing, writing, um, and other creative activities. Um, so this yoga practice is great for if you're feeling a little stuck or uninspired and uh, you really want to um, get the creative juices flowing. So um, if you need some inspiration, um, here is your practice. Um, so let's get started in mountain pose, uh, Tadasana. So come to your mat, stand hip distance apart, pressing your feet into the ground, stand up nice and tall, start to roll out through the shoulders and relax them down. Stretch and wiggle through the fingers. Roll out through your wrists. And any other little movements you need to settle in. And then when you're ready, keep pressing your feet into the ground and bring your palms together in front of your chest. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. Imagine you've got a thread lifting from the crown of your head. So you're um, nice and tall and proud. And then we're gonna take two clearing breaths. So empty your lungs of air and then breathe into your lower belly Fill up your lungs with air. Take the biggest breath you can manage. When you think you're full up, breathe in a little more. And then open your mouth, release the air out of your mouth. And when you think you're empty, try and squeeze out a little more air. And then when you need to, close your lips and breathe in through your nose. One more big clearing breath like this. Hold for a moment, completely full, sip it a little more if you can, and then open your mouth, release. Draw your belly in and squeeze that last bit of air out. Nice, and then relax your breath. Okay, we're going to take um, three breaths with the arms. So when you're ready, on your next breath in, you're going to extend your arms outwards, palm facing forward. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your palms back to center. So try and connect breath with movement here. Just gonna do three breaths like this. See if you slow your movement, does that deepen your breath? And when you're really expanded, draw your hands back a little bit, draw your shoulders back and open your chest before coming back to center. Great, we're now gonna take a breath that I use when I feel a little bit um, stuck. So I'll demonstrate to you first and then we're gonna do it five times together. So you're gonna breathe in, circling your hands, nice big circles, three of them. And then at the end of the third circle, your hands are gonna to come together overhead. Then for your exhale, you're gonna draw your belly in and quite a forceful breath out. You're gonna breathe out your nose like this and bring your hands back in front of your chest. So let's try that. Keep your fingers nice and extended and really reach them into the space. So breathing in, one, two, three, up, and then exhale, release. Four more. Find your rhythm. If it's a little faster or slower than me, that's okay. You can even bounce your knees as well. Really make this move your own, even jumping if you like. And then last one. And we'll come back to 
breaths with the arms, calming down the energy again. Notice how your heart feels. If you're bored of going side to side, you can reach the arms out, up and down a little bit. And just listening to your body, expressing yourself with movement. And then you sitting back, hands in front of the chest. Great. You can then lower your gaze here and think of an intention for your practice. So if you're used to doing intentions already, you'll maybe have one that you already know you want to use. If you're a bit unsure, then I've got one to offer you, which is, I have a voice. So something, if you say to yourself, say it to yourself and notice if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, you can leave it. But the idea of saying that is to remind yourself, not that you literally have a voice, but that if you want to create something, whatever you produce will be completely unique to you um, because you have your own voice and it'll be different to everyone else's. You have a perspective that no one else has. So that's what we're checking in with today. And then when you're ready, come to the top of your mat if you're not there already. So you've got space behind you. And we're going to swan dive all the way down to ragdoll. So tuck your chin, turn your fingers down and roll down slowly through the spine, bending the knees. You can rest your belly on your knees. I just need to put my cool Headband on so my microphone doesn't fall off. Okay, ragdoll. Let's breathe here. Grab the elbows, sway side to side. Let any worries fall off your shoulders. Keep breathing nice and deeply. You can release your exhales through your mouth if you need to let go of some stress. Keep breathing right into the back of your neck. So making a nice stretch in your upper back. And then release your hands down to the floor. You're then going to bend into your left knee. Your left hand is resting on the mat just in front of your left foot. And then straighten through your right leg and reach your right hand up to the sky. You can look up to your right hand as well. Gentle twist here. Big breath in. And then exhale, release and switch hands. So right hand is placed down in front of your right foot. Inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky as you straighten your left leg. Gaze up to your left hand. And then on exhale, release your left hand down to the floor. Wonderful. Take a breath here to just let your head completely surrender to gravity. Let it hang heavy. Relax your neck. And then as you breathe in, push into your feet. Fingers trace up the legs. As you start to stack the vertebrae one by one, keep your chin tucked and your shoulders rounded until you're all the way up to mountain. And then bring your hands back in front of your chest. Repeat your intention to yourself. And then take a big breath in to reach the hands up to high mountain. Breathe out, fold forward and down to forward fold. Breathe in, bring the hands, your hands to your legs. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. We're going to take three breaths here in halfway lift. You can even extend your arms out like aeroplane wings, palms facing down towards the floor to help you draw your shoulder blades together and down. So activating your upper back here. On your third exhale, you're going to fold back down, hands come to the mat, softly bending your knees. Great, we'll then step one foot back, followed by the other, lower the knees, coming to all fours. We'll take three rounds of cat cow. So breathing in, your tailbone points towards the sky, chest opens forward as your belly drops draw your shoulders back and down and your gaze comes forward breathe out scoop your tailbone so it points down 
ground through the spine and let your head fall between your arms. Two more. Starting the movement from your tailbone and ending it with your gaze. Exhale to cat pose, tailbone points to the floor, arching your back like an angry cat, relaxing your head between your arms. Last round, breathe in, your bottom points up, belly drops and chest opens as you look forward. Then exhale, last cat, round over. And then inhale, we'll take child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. Sink your hips back to your heels. Just three breaths here. Your hands can stay extending forward or you can bring them between your legs down to your feet and rest your cheek on the mat. If hands are forward, rest your forehead on the mat. Breathe into your belly. And remember your intention and look up to your hands. Lift up to all fours. Inhale to come to cow pose. So dropping your belly, drawing your shoulders back and then keep your bottom poking in the air as you tuck your toes and push up to downward facing dog. So your hips are going really high here, pedal through the feet, warming up the backs of the legs. And then you can bend through the left knee, look under your right armpit, hello. And other side, bend through the right knee, look under your left armpit. And then take a walk up to the top of your mat. Stretch through the feet as you go. And you're in forward fold again. Great, breathe in, halfway lift, just one breath. Breathe out to fold and then step your left foot back. So you can rock a little back and forth here and then lower your back knee and flip your back foot. Breathe in, reach the hands up to low lunge. Stretching through the fingers, turning your pinkies in towards each other. You can sink a little lower through the hips here if you want to. And then inhale open through the chest you can draw the hands back a little bit exhale continue this circle down bring the belly to the thigh and frame the front foot plant your left hand on the mat breathe in and reach your right hand up to the sky look up to your right hand if it feels okay in your neck breathe out circle your right hand towards the back of your mat down to the floor and breathe in reach it forward and up to the sky repeat your intention Breathe out to circle it down and place on the outside of the right hand. Great, we're then gonna walk the hands back and straighten through the right leg, flexing the right foot in half splits. You can make, you can sort of rock back and forth a little bit if that's more comfortable and then stay here for a couple of breaths, just breathing into your right hamstring. We store a lot of tension here, especially if you um, do lots of uh, walking and running in your daily exercise. And then walk the hands forward. Great. Then going to tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and step your left foot forward. Breathe in for halfway lift, drawing your shoulders back and away from the ears, crown of the head reaching forward to the very top of your head and then breathe out to bring the hands to the mat and step your right foot back this time. So runner's lunge, exact same thing on the other side. You can rock a little back and forth and then lower your back knee, flip your back foot, and breathe in to reach up to low lunge on this side. Extending your fingers into the space. Repeat your intention and then breathe in to open through your heart. Keep your belly a little engaged here, just letting the shoulders fall back and the chest open. No straining. And then exhale to continue the circle down, bring the belly to the thighs. Plant your right palm on the mat, 
breathe in, lift your left hand up to the sky, look up to your hand as well. Breathe out, circle the arm. So reaching it back, down towards the floor, forward in front of you. Remember your intention as you reach the hand up to the sky, extending your fingers and then exhale, reaching that hand back and down to the outside of the left foot. Take a little rock back and forth. So rocking the hips backwards and forwards as you straighten through the left leg, flex through the left foot. Don't worry if your leg doesn't come straight, that's okay. Everyone's pose looks a little different. Half splits. Couple of breaths here to patiently release tension in the back of your left thigh. Remember that line from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Try and lengthen there. And then walk the hands forward. Step your left foot back this time. And we're gonna come to downward facing dog. So your hands are spread nice and wide. Press into your knuckles and fingertips. Tuck your toes. Send your hips towards your heels as you lift the knees and push your hips up towards the sky. Again, you can pedal and stretch through the feet. Perhaps find stillness. So a big full body stretch from, well, not full body, big stretch from the hands to the hips. And then we're pushing the heels towards the floor, but don't worry if they don't touch. Breathe in to look to your hands and breathe out to walk to the top of your mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out to fold. And then breathe in to roll up slowly to mountain. And then when you arrive, you can roll out through the shoulders. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Take a moment to listen to your breath. And then we're going to come to a wide-legged stance. So bring your feet nice and far apart and then turn your toes so they point to the outer edges of your mat. So your heels are coming in, toes coming out. And then start to bend lower through the knees. You can rock side to side. So we're lowering the hips here, preparing for a goddess pose, a really nice confidence building pose. So we're rolling the thighs outwards. You can even bring your hands to your thighs and just hang out here for a little bit. And then together, we're all gonna ground through the back body. So you're pressing the outer edge, edges of your feet into the mat so that you can lift through the front body. And then bring your palms together in center. See how low you want to sink the hips today, maybe quite low, maybe that feels stable for you, or maybe a little higher, that's fine. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, and then inhale to take that breath we took at the beginning, reaching the hands open. Exhale, bring the hands back into center. Inhale to expand and hold there. So drawing the shoulder blades together. So we're opening here, opening to new possibilities. And then exhale, we're gonna straighten the legs and bring the hands to the hips. Great, you're then gonna turn your right toes um, towards the end of the mat and your left toes towards the long edge of the mat. So preparing for warrior two here. So your feet are perpendicular to one another. Your front knee stacked over the front heel, you're rolling this right hip open. Um, finding a nice long line from your tailbone through the crown of your head and then extending your arms out to the side. You can gaze over your right hand. Remember your intention. Listen to your breath. And then you're going to turn your gaze back to your left hand. Rotate your thumb down to the floor and if you can, slightly behind you, and then sweep your arm down behind you 
and bend at the elbow so your hand is coming up. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I mean. So you're in warrior two, thumb rotates down and back behind you, sweep the arm down, bend at the elbow. Great, turn your attention back to your right hand, turn your thumb up to the sky, reach your right hand up to the ceiling and then bend at the elbow. So if you can grab your fingers, you can do that. Or if there's quite a space, then you can grab your t-shirt. Great, keep opening through the chest and then bring your gaze back forward. So over your right knee. And breathe here, nice stretch through the chest and the shoulders. One more big breath right into the belly, filling up with air. And then as you breathe out, release the hands and straighten through the right leg. Bring your feet parallel. And then we'll do that on the other side. Turn your left toes to face the short edge of the mat. Bend into the left knee. So your knee is stacked over the heel. Plug your shoulders in, extend your arms out to your sides, look over your left fingertips. Breathe in courage and breathe out fear. Repeat that once more to yourself. Warrior two. Okay, we're now gonna take our cow face arms variation. So look around to your right hand, rotate the thumb down to the floor slightly behind you as you sweep the arm down and then bend at the elbow. So your hands coming up towards your head. Left thumb rotates towards the sky, left arm reaches up and then we bend at the elbow and see if we can grab on this side. It might be different on this side. Otherwise grab the t-shirt, that's fine. Look back over your left, um, to, the, to the direction of your left toes. Keep pressing into the floor with your feet. You can always keep a little bounce through the knee. Stay dynamic, stay involved with your whole body. One more deep breath in. And release, release the hands and turn the feet parallel. Great, you're then going to heel toe, heel toe, the feet in together. And if you've got some kind of strap, now would be a good time to grab it. If you are like, oh, I don't have that to hand, then don't worry about it. But just if you happen to see, oh, there's a belt that I can use, or there's my dressing gown, I can use the tie of the dressing gown, then grab that and have that nearby. Okay, so if you don't have anything, that's fine. Come down to the bottom of your mat. I'm gonna move on to bring the hands together in front of your chest. Tuck your chin and then turn your fingertips down towards the floor as you start to swan dive down to the mat. Fingertips reach the floor. You can bend your knees at any point and then start to walk your hands forward as you bring the knees down to the mat. Great. We're then going to bring the tops of the foot to the floor. Extend your right leg back Open your left foot off the mat. Bring the right heel down to the floor. So your heel, your knee, and your wrist are in line. Push your hips forward, and then reach your right hand up to the sky. On an exhale, you can reach your right hand overhead for a slightly deeper stretch. Then inhale, rotate your chest up towards the ceiling and look up. Exhale, keep reaching the right hand forward as you bring it down to the mat. Feel the stretch travel across your rib cage and then bring your right knee back. So other side, extending your left leg back, planting your left heel on the floor as you bring your right foot off of the mat. Your heel, knee and wrist are in line as you breathe in, reach your left hand up to the sky. 
Push your hips forward. And then on an exhale, reach your left hand overhead. Inhale, rotate your chest up towards the sky. And look up. Then exhale, to keep reaching the left hand forward and then place it down on the mat. Left knee comes back. Great. You're then going to bring your big toes together, knees wide, and sink your hips back to your heels. For um, a couple of breaths in child's pose, keep your arms forward in front of you this time. Rest your forehead on the mat. And then walk your hands over towards the left side. You can bring your right hand on top of your left. Keep both hips pressing down into your heels. And then walk the hands over to the other side. Left hand on top of the right. Rest here. Breathe into your left side. And then come back to center. Great, you're then gonna walk your hands back and come to seated. Swing your feet out from underneath you and shift your weight forward a little bit so that you're sitting sort of in the middle of your mat. Then gonna extend your legs forward. Dandasana, staff pose. And then bring your right knee into your center. Open the right knee to the side and bring the sole of the right foot to press into the inner left thigh. And then going to breathe in, reach the hands overhead, breathe out to fold over your left leg. You can grab the leg or grab the foot, whatever you can reach today. Just a couple of breaths here. Release some more tension in the back of the leg. Then breathe in to lift up. Open over your right knee. So right hand comes behind you and your chest is shining over your right knee. Then reach your right arm back, up and over towards your left toes. You can even support your head with your hand here or press your left hand into your right knee to stretch here. Maybe you bring your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then on an inhale, you're gonna come back up, place your right hand behind your tailbone, point your left toes, and then on an inhale, you're going to reach your left hand up to the sky as you lift your hips off the mat and open into a, a wild thing variation. So opening your chest here, reaching your left hand back, and then on an exhale, lowering your hips. Close off the right knee, and then extend your leg long. Great, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Bring your left knee in this time, open it to the side. The sole of the left foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, take two or three breaths in this sort of half fold. And then breathe in to lift up. Sweep your left hand back and place it behind you so that your chest rotates over your left knee. And then inhale to reach the left hand up and over towards your right toes. So your right foot's flexed. You can rest your head in your right hand. Your right hand can rest just on the leg. Or you can push it into the knee. Try to keep your, your heart rotating open, traveling towards the ceiling. You don't have to go that far into it to get the benefits of this pose. Then on an inhale, bring your left hand behind you and place it behind your tailbone. I'm going to prepare for the wild thing variation on this side. So you can point your right toes, ready to bring the sole of your foot to the floor. Repeat your intention and then breathe in, lift your hips, reach your right hand behind you, 
open through your chest. You can breathe one, two, even three breaths here, and then slowly lower the hips back down and extend your left leg forward. Great. Then you can bring the soles of your feet to the mat, shift your hips forward just a little bit more, reach your arms forward, and exhale to roll down onto your back. Extend your left leg long and hug your right knee into your chest. And then flex your feet. So imagine you're pushing your left foot into a wall and then push your right heel up towards the sky. You can interlace your hands behind your thigh. And this is the point at which you have something like a strap or a belt. You can wrap it around your foot and push the foot up to the sky with that. But again, you can see it doesn't matter if you don't have anything. Maybe you could get something next time when you next do this video. So you're taking a couple more breaths here, hugging the knee towards um, towards you. If it if you can, you can bring your hands further up the leg. But don't worry if not. And we're then going to take a reclined twist. So if you do have some kind of strap, you can keep the legs straight. And if you've got the space, you can guide your right knee all the way over to the left. For a nice stretch here, as well as the twist. But if that's a little tricky for you, then just bend the knee and guide the bent knee over to the left. That's absolutely fine as well. So keep both shoulders on the mat. You can rest your left hand on your knee or maybe on your rib cage. Take a long breath into your belly. And then release. Bring your knee back up or leg back up. Release the strap if you are using one and extend your right leg back long. Great. You can then reach the hands overhead, take a big stretch, roll up through the ankles and the feet. And then we'll take the other uh, that stretch on the other side, hugging the left knee in and then flexing both feet. So your right leg is also still active, still pressing down as you push your left heel up towards the sky and take four or five breaths here to explore this pose with or without strap. Careful not to lock through the knee. You can always keep a little bend in the knee to prevent that happening. And then slowly come into your reclined twist. So either bending through the knee or keeping it straight with the strap and coming into your reclined twist. Breathe into your belly, two more long breaths. And then come up to center. Remove the strap, extend your legs long, and then hug both of your knees into your chest, sway side to side. And we can take happy baby here, kicking the feet up towards the sky. You can grab your toes, your feet, anywhere you like. Sway side to side. Maybe straightening through the right leg as you bring the left knee down to the floor and vice versa. And then extend all your limbs up to the ceiling. Stretch, wiggle through the fingers, roll out through the ankles and the wrists. Squeeze and release the toes and then give everything a big shake. 
dead bug pose. Getting rid of any last tension. Just having fun with it. Maybe this will bring a little smile to your face because <laughs> it is pretty silly. So you've got to be able to laugh at yourself sometimes. <laughs> and then you can relax down for relaxation. So if you're comfortable to lie on your back, then I'll invite you to do, do so. If you'd rather lie on your belly, that's no problem. If you're on your back, then, or wherever you are, take any little adjustments you need to feel comfortable. If you've got a blanket nearby, maybe you bring that uh, over you. Or pop your socks back on. If you're lying on your back, you can open your palms up towards the ceiling. It's just a suggestion. So try to find some stillness here. Relaxing your feet, your legs, softening through your belly, your ribs. Relaxing down the arms and letting go of any grip through your hands and fingers. Just letting them release. Soften through your neck, your mouth. Your cheeks, your eyes your eyebrows and the space between your eyebrows. Allow your forehead to smooth over and your whole head to relax. Let your breath just return to its natural rhythm. And then here in your relaxation, you can let your imagination wander. Perhaps you picture the most beautiful place in the world and relax there. You can imagine floating down a lazy river or maybe gazing at the stars. or anywhere else that you'd like to be. Just choose one place so that your mind can relax there. And then let your thoughts just drift. You can take a back seat, notice your thoughts, like you're sort of watching a film of what's going on in your mind. So the next few moments are for you to just relax, to just be you. And then very slowly, start to breathe in a little deeper and breathe out long. On your next breath in, take some small movements through the fingers and the toes. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. 
and observe the rise and fall of your breath and the gentle beating of your heart. Slowly make your way over onto one side. Take a moment to breathe here, notice how you're feeling. If things are going well for you right now, you're feeling well, then maybe you take a, take a little smile and say thank you for that. Or if you need it today, to give yourself a big hug. Notice how it feels to hold yourself. Sending love to you. Gently bring one hand to the floor and lift yourself up to cross-legged. And then we're going to take that breath with the hands three times. So bring your palms to your chest. And remember that intention you set at the start. And breathe in to expand your hands forward, expanding your arms open, open to possibilities. Exhale, bring the hands into center. Keep this fluid movement going. Stay connected to your breath. Breathing in, filling up. And breathing out to bring yourself back to center. Last time, inhale, inspiration. Opening your mind and your heart. Exhale, release, release anything you don't need. And we'll finish by saying, the good in me recognizes the good in you. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the yoga practice. So now it's time. Well, if you'd like to join any more classes um, or see some free videos, then you can find me on Facebook um, at Louise Nimo Yoga. Um, and we're going to finish with a well-being tip and challenge so we'll begin with the challenge um, my challenge for you is to draw a picture for someone you care about um, so that's the lovely thing to do right now um, maybe choose someone that will appreciate it a lot um, if you have any sort of elderly neighbors or grandparents um, I'm sure they would love it because you know things are quite worrying for them right now um, or anyone else who's just not doing so well in the lockdown draw them a nice picture make sure to sign it and date it so then when it's worth millions of pounds <laughs> you can um, say it was you that did it um, and well-being tip so my well-being tip for you is um, quite a funny one it's at the end of your shower Try turning the temperature to cold, um, or at least to cool. And uh, it's, it's really nice because then you come out of the shower and instead of feeling cold when you get out of the shower, you feel warm. You're like glowing with warmth. And it's actually really good for you. So it's good for your immunity, which is obviously important right now. Um, it's good for your skin. And it's really good if you suffer from any allergies or hay fever. Um, so yeah, nice. That's my that's my tip. A little bit of cold at the end of your shower. Just turn the temperature down to how cold you can bear. Um, maybe even colder in the mornings. More kind of you know wakes you up and things. Um, and enjoy. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> okay. So thanks for joining me and enjoy the rest of the Zen challenge. And have a really good week and. Keep your spirits up, keep your humor. Um, we'll get through this difficult time. Um, we'll get through it together. So 
um, that's all. Thank you very much and bye.